Well, welcome to our Summit Park market update. I'm Ron Wilstein, a broker at Keller Williams Luxury Properties in Park City. And I'm Doug Olmstead, the seller's property consultant here on the Wilstein team. Thank you so much for joining us today. All right, we're going to look at the details of what's been selling in Summit Park, and there's been a record sale there that we want to tell you about. But beforehand, let's give you a quick overview of what's been happening in the Park City real estate market. During the past 12 months, there's been 1,444 sales in Park City. That consists of homes, condominiums, and vacant land, and that's all real estate brokerages combined. It's actually up 12% or 135 sales from the same period the year before. If we break that down um, into mm -hmm. homes, uh, condos, and lots, you can see that homes are up 4% from 496 sales to 516. Condominiums saw the largest improvement from 594 sales to 738 for a 24% uh, gain. Wow. Big time. Lots down 13%. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. That's due uh, a lot to do with uh, lack of available inventory for sale. Well, let's turn our attention to property prices. Everybody wants to know the value of their properties. Is it going up? Is it going down? Is it staying the same? Well, when we look at homes, this is home medium sold prices. In the red bars, we're covering the period of time from November 2014 through October 2015. The gold bar is the 12 month period of the year before for a year to year comparison. <clears throat> you can see in the Park City city limits, medium sold price was a million three hundred thousand dollars. That's a lot especially if you're accustomed to living in Summit Park, part, which is typically not at that price point, but that is a medium for areas, including Park Meadows. It's gone up about 12%, 150,000, all the way up to a million 450. Snyderville Basin, which of course is the area that Summit Park is located in, they have also seen a 13% increase in value, climbing from 768,000 to 865,000. If we look at condominium median sold prices in Park City limits, six uh, percent gain from 535,000 all the way up to 565,000, and in the Snyderville Basin, a whopping 16 percent gain from 339,500 all the way up to 395,000. There were some new condominium projects and things that came online that uh, also helped to drive that number up. Now, turning our attention to lots <clears throat> in the city limits. We see that the medium sold price was 550,000, climbed to 675,000, increase of 23%. It's important to point out that the sampling is very small in the city limits. And so you could take, for instance, have uh, in the last 12 months, a superior location for a lot that wasn't duplicated the year before, maybe two that way. And because of the small sampling, that could account for a 20% increase. So. We want you to know that lots in the city limits have not gone up 23% across the board. It'd be nice, but it's not true. Just select ones influence this. However, in the Snyderville Basin, where we have more lots to make up this data, we did see a 17% increase with the medium sold price of 300,000 climbing to 350,000. <clears> so let's dive into the Summit Park real estate market in specific. Uh, home sales in Summit Park are up 7% over last year's number of sales. See, last year was 29 sales, up 7% to 31 sales in Summit Park this year. And we want to point out, you're not necessarily seeing this by comparison to other uh, neighborhoods, but we are looking at that all the time. That is a lot of sales. And Summit Park has consistently, year in and year out, had a lot of sales uh, compared to most other neighborhoods, frankly. It really has. We want to talk about absorption rate and what the absorption rate is, is that's the pace of sales. When we look back a year and see based upon the inventory that, of properties that sold, how often did they sell? How quickly did they sell? Well, some of park selling at a pace of one sale every 12 days. And that is the, the, the lowest or fastest we've seen of all the neighborhood webinars. We've done a bunch lately. That is just incredible. A lot of activity, very fast. <clears throat> Tells you that there are people who want to get into Summit Park. Right property comes along, they'll buy it quickly. There's currently nine homes on the market in Summit Park, which equates to a three-month inventory. <clears throat> Typically, a, the National Association of Realtors says 
that a balanced market equal number of buyers and sellers is about a three month inventory in areas like park city a nine month inventory represents a a balanced market so a three month inventory definitely favors sellers good news if you're a property owner in summit park selling prices in summit park range from three hundred and twenty five thousand all the way up to a new record high of eight hundred and eighty five thousand dollars wow yeah that's well a... we have to pause here for a moment <laughs> kind of blow our own horn we sold that property we'll give you a few more details in a moment on it more to come but it does uh, jump up the median sold price to five hundred and seven six hundred and fifty thousand dollars and again that's up six percent from the previous year's value so great news for some of park homeowners yes indeed for sure uh here you see the breakdown <coughs> pardon me here you see the breakdown previous year was 480,000 climbed to 507,650 now let's talk about this new record high price uh, those of you who do not know where it was located it was at 490 Matterhorn Drive sold for 885,000 all-time record high for a home in Summit Park keep in mind it was fully furnished and um, let's we'll show you a couple pictures Doug can make some observations it's a beautiful home it was high up on Matterhorn with great views very unique home and a, and a log home as you can see logs were out of Montana they were um, was, the home was constructed in Montana then deconstructed brought to Park City and reconstructed um, high-end appliances very nice furnishings throughout uh, very very beautiful home you can see the professional photography that we do for all of our listings um, really makes that home shine yeah it really is a terrific property certainly a one-of-a-kind uh, but a challenge a challenge we had to address because typically homes in summer park are not being sold fully furnished and so that adds some extra twist to the negotiating process and how to best handle that in today's uh, world of finance where furniture is not allowed to be financed in any event um, we're happy to let you know that the market overall for summer park has gone up and we're happy to have been a part of that from a marketing point of view if you're interested in receiving a printout of any of the homes that actually made up the summary data as well as the specifics on the one we highlighted on Matterhorn uh, we're happy to send that to you send myself or Doug an email Ron at the Wellstein team dot com or Doug at the Wellstein team dot com happy to send that to you <clears throat> we also want to tell you how you can get information on the summer park market whenever you want uh, you probably know that we do these webinars in summer park about three times a year we'd like to keep you informed of that neighborhood we sell a lot of properties there Summit Park okay on this page that we've created just for Summit Park on viewparkcityrealestate.com I'm going to scroll down a little bit and there's a number of buttons that may be of interest to you the green one in the upper left corner says watch a webinar for an update on Summit Park real estate in effect you're doing that right now we tend to update it three times a year so you can click on that anytime you want and get the latest update uh, you can also search for properties with uh, either homes or condos with these lower buttons but if you go to the blue one here titled send me current sales data on summit park hover over it and then click it it will take you to a simple form here we call it our current sales data request let me get that down and um, it takes you less than a minute to fill this out you identify uh, the area or your property address number of bedrooms bathrooms little pull down menus here so it's real easy to uh, just select whatever is appropriate and then come down to where you put in your name first name last name your email address we need that obviously to send you the information on the summit park update if you want a phone call back include your phone number if you want to receive our quarterly newsletter put in your address if we don't already have it and in the comment box just put specifically what you want send me everything that's happened in summit park over the last year we'll send it to you whatever it is and then click the green button and that will come to us and we'll get you that information I want you to know there's absolutely no cost or obligation we just like to through our webinars and our other uh, strategies on our websites make sure everybody's well informed about the Park City market and of course if we're here to help you sell the property if that's what you want to do all the better well Vail's been really busy spending their 50 million dollars on their improvement plan um, it's coming together nicely and uh, the Quicksilver gondola is the new gondola that connects the two parts of the mountain making it one park city 
Uh, the, the towers are all in, the cables strung, they're hanging the gondolas as we speak, and uh, they will have that up and going really soon here. That lets off right at the base of Silver Load Lift, and that's where also where the Miners Camp is, the new uh, state-of-the-art restaurant. Mm -hmm. Much larger facility, much nicer than what was there. I'm quite excited to get in and see it. Definitely talking up the menu, so we'll find out if, <laughs> if talk's cheap or not. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. Um, on the front side of the mountain, uh, where it could have been congested before, uh, they put a new high-speed detachable six-pack in where, on the King Con, so that will alleviate that and keep uh, snowboarders and skiers moving throughout the mountain effort effortlessly. Um, now, now, that's not all the upgrades, but those are the key ones we get questions on. Yeah. They've done a lot of work on the mountain due to deferred maintenance as they were entangled in their lawsuit, but uh, everybody's pretty excited about getting on to to the mountain and so it is scheduled to open November 21st uh, we've had snow it's snowing today <clears throat> it's been cold enough they've been making snow so I think they're going to definitely make that November 21st opening and uh, so tune up those skis and those snowboards we do want to remind you if you're not aware of the fact that Vail Resorts offers their famous Empire Pass there's two of them an Empire Pass and a Locals Pass and what this allows you is uh, you have access to all 7,300 acres of skiable, rideable terrain. Now the Park City Mountain Resort and Canyons has combined. That's great. If you go with the Locals Pass, you have to be a resident in Utah. There's some blackout dates due to the uh, Christmas, New Year's holiday, President's uh, holiday. But otherwise, save a couple hundred bucks. You can ski with that Epic Pass. Or if you want uh, unhindered access or you're not a Utah resident, by the regular epic pass key thing we want to point out here a lot of people don't realize this is not only is this pass great at park city but you can go to colorado and ski vale beaver creek breckenridge you can take that pass to australia to perisher which is also owned and operated by vale and use that same pass there ski year round anywhere vale has a mountain you can use that pass on so it's a pretty exciting opportunity dear valley it's going to open up the first weekend, first Saturday in December the 5th. And, you know, we know what to expect from Deer Valley. They like it groomed nicely. They like the food perfect. And uh, so be sure to catch that at least for a treat during this upcoming ski season. <clears throat> the other thing that we just want to highlight as we're wrapping up now is that with Vail investing $50 million, people are asking, well, what impact is that having on the Park City real estate market? Well, we don't have the time in this webinar to cover it, but we did cover it in our October Park City Market Update webinar. If you're interested in seeing that, go to viewparkcityrealestate.com forward slash Vail Improvements. That would take you right to that webinar, and one of the topic segments is on this very subject. So pretty interesting. If you're interested in Park City Real Estate, probably want to check that out. <clears throat> Finally, we'll conclude and let you know how you can learn what your summer park home or lot is worth in today's market. We've made it really easy. Of course, you can do the old fashioned way, pick up the phone and call us. <laughs> we will answer the phone. Um, but you can go to our website, main page, scroll down to learn what your property is worth, complete a form, let me just show it to you. Here's our main website. Scroll down a little bit past the start your park city search. If you want to search around park city, you can go there past some of these listings to learn what your property is worth. Again, another short form, you can fill it out in a minute or less. Fill in the blanks, use pull down choices. <clears throat> and then when you get past the name portion and email portion, and you have some boxes to check, go to this first one here, click contact me now for a free property value assessment. You do that, we will contact you, range a time to meet at your convenience, see your home, uh, go through the data and then do the research and get back to you with it and uh, it's just that simple if any of these other topics are of interest highlight them as well click the green button again no cost no obligation for any of this but it's our way to make sure that you're well informed about uh, park city real estate and about your summit park property so if you have any questions please feel free to give us an email uh, Ron at thewillstein.com, Doug at thewillstein.com. Give us a phone call, go on the website. Um, and if you want to call from us, just include your phone number and prefer time for us to contact you, and we'll get back to you with the information. Uh, finally, I just want to remind you every single month, about the 15th of the month, 
we give an update on our Park City Market Talk webinar. We include details, overview on the Park City Market. We go into more detail than we did on this webinar. And then we usually grab three or four major topics that are in people's minds, speak to that. And so it's always informative, always updated monthly, our way to keep you informed. Thank you so much for watching our webinar today. We appreciate your time. All right. Have a great uh, upcoming ski season. Hope to see you on the slopes. Indeed. Bye-bye.